Alright. Looks like we have one of the side quests we gotta do. Which is called Upsail, but I guess we'll find it once we get back at Jacob's Cove. And now, just collect more brains. Not all these critical kills are any of brains, and that kind of me. A good majority of them are, but I would prefer if all of them did. Again, with the turrets. At least they disappear right as we kill them, so it's not too bad. More money, and another grenade. Alright, let's see. Alright, so we're on the other side of that barrier. Great, it's another one of those the horde is coming sort of things. Look at all this stuff. Yep, it is. That's fine. <laughs> another crescendo event. Or maybe not. We see your signal and your transportation is inbound. Be sure to avoid the satellite marked landing zone. Anything standing in that location will have its fence melted off. The Jacobs Corporation would largely regret if that face was yours. Alright, noted. Don't stand in the area. Gotcha. Yes, feel it! Really? Alright, well. Get to get more brains. Shotgun back. What the hell, guys? Jesus, they are just popping up everywhere. Left 4 Dead 1 strategy is get inside a corner. There apparently is a clerical error, and your ride hasn't been dispatched yet. I'm working to resolve the problem. Sorry about that. Have a nice day. Oh, yeah. Shush. Alright. At least we found this nice little hiding hole. Okay, so these guys are just coming from everywhere. I just hide in this little corner and wait for them to come to me. They have no idea how to reach me, do they? I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing. I'll go and collect all the brains. Oh, <laughs> funny story. I forgot to fill out TKP request form 3882, so the fleet, get this, wouldn't send out your transportation. I've taken care of that issue. Rides inbound. For real this time. Uh huh. I'm sure. God, you guys are confident. Although I have a feeling that they're doing this on purpose. First it was Atlas, now it's Jacobs. What's next, Hyperion? Sounds weird, but I really just want to punch you in the face. Because of that voice. Hey, what's up? 
sorry for the wait. I hope you weren't inconvenienced. Remember, a Jacob's representative will be waiting to greet you when you land. I'm sure they would be. Great shift, probably. That's a thing that happened, so whatever, I guess. Alright. Thank you for reporting the circumstances of his untimely demise and reanimation. And a Upsail. Oh god. I get nightmares from that word. To anyone attempting to survive in Jacob's Cove, there's a Jacob's Company vending machine in town that could help you deal with Dr. Ned. It may need a new power coupling, but if you're able to repair the machine, you can gain access to its inventory. Something which could help you survive. Remember, if it just needs to be if it just needs to be dead, it needs to be a Jacob's. These zombies need to be dead. Alright, guess we'll grab that real quick. Still gotta go to the lumber yard eventually, but. Alright, and I guess we'll grab this as well. A claptrap from Jacobs is waiting for your arrival. It appears he has more information for you. Jacobs has hired you to take care of Dr. Ned once and for all. You can find him hidden deep in the Jacobs Lumber Mill, but zombie impending bridge near the mills needs to be lowered first. Lowered first. Alright, now we get into the lumber yard, but let's see. We need to go all the way over there, huh? Let's see what's over here. A new power coupling. Power coupling. All right. Right up there. How am I gonna get up there? Through here? Ah, through here. Okay. Ah, this is a new machine. A hundred rounds in a magazine with a Jacobs. You will only need one. Ooh, jeez. Let's compare that to the other sniper I have. Gearbox. Where's my gearbox sniper? Okay. Alright, here we go. Does more damage than the gearbox sniper, but... Eh. The gearbox sniper has a better firing rate. You need to be level 40 to use any of these anyways, so what's the point? Okay. Let's just sell everything. That we don't need. So, that was easy. So, besides the brain side quest, that's all the side quests we have to do. Okay. Alright. Alright, let's get over to the lumber yard now. How do we get there? Ah, yes. We have to go a long way around. Yay! I already showed how to get to the lumber yard, so I'll meet you guys over there, I guess. Just around the corner here. The lumber yard's right up here. I don't think there are any more zombies for me to kill right now, so let's just get through the lumber yard. Alright. Doesn't look like. Let's look at the map real quick. Yeah, it looks like our first destination isn't too far. Try not to hurt your girl parts on the multitudes of minions I've set upon you. Thanks. 
like, whoa, Skaggy, you wouldn't believe what happened to me. The misery machine broke down. Like, I know that's not news, but I found this town and there's like no one there. Yes, <laughs> I finally ran into an old doctor who said there was <laughs> zombies throughout the haunted forest. <laughs> he seems like a nice old man, so I thought I'd help him out. Who needs the rest of the gang, right? Mike, <laughs> we found the true Shaggy. Really good at this. We found what happens when he finally uses one percent of his power. Okay, well. Oh boy, more than just tons of zombies, Jesus. I mean, it's good because I need tons of brains, but... Yeah, it's a good thing I grabbed this before. Before getting too far into the, or into the map. Nice. The shotgun's real. I'm glad I grabbed this. Okay. <laughs> I'm really good at this. And this is why, if you're going into a zombie apocalypse, make sure you have shotguns with you. And lots and lots and lots of ammo. We need place. Oh, wait. I was going to say, we need places that sell. Sh that sell ammo like this, but that's what gun shops are for. You know the first place that if zombie apocalypse is the first place that everyone's reading is going to be a gun shop. Whoa, okay. okay. Scary. Yes, feel it. Jesus, there's so many of these guys around here. So many brains. More stuff to sell. So we're getting close to oh we have three suicide bombs. Four. Lots of suicide zombies, Jesus. You need a band -aid? Zombies can cut awful deep, you know. I am a doctor, after all. Though so if you get hurt and all bothered, I'll probably just let you up and die on account of you discovering my evil plans and all. <laughs> What I meant to pull out, even the shotgun. Don't know if we just picked up like an echo recorder or something. Probably did. All right. Let's see. So we're looking for moron, noob, wuss, and chump. Son of a bitch. This freaking digital bearing module's terrible. The waypoint is constantly trying to send me through a mountain. What am I supposed to do? Go through it? Is there some secret passage? Ah! Oh, no. Can't jump over it. Damn it! What? Wait! No, I hate you, digital bearing module! Oh, is this what it means? Okay. Yeah, no, I feel that. I feel that on a big level. Okay, so we just need to go further up there. But yeah, no, I totally get that guy's pain about it telling you, hey, go this way, but wait, there's supposed to, there's apparently a mountain. Luckily here with the map and the mini map, we can actually we actually know where we're supposed to go, so we don't have to try to jump over these things. Not like I haven't tried though. Purple something. <laughs> All right. 
more zombies, more brains. We're at 179. Pretty good, pretty good. Yep, and we have more to get. Right over here. Thank you. I will gladly take everything. God freaking seriously? <sighs> at least now I know to blow these up before. trying to look at how many brain keep an eye on how many brains we have so I know when to stop actually focusing on trying to shoot the heads and just running through everything. Because I do want to try to finish this DLC by session. Bacon brownies. You want one? Oh shit, wait. I forgot about me trying to shove you off this mortal coil. Can't be giving brownies to just any vengeance driven d -wad now, can I? Hey, you know if zombies like brownies? I don't know. Let me ask them. Hey guys, do you like brownies? <sighs> they said they like brain brownies. Do you have brain brownies? No. They're pop brownies? They're pop brownies. <laughs> nah, they said they'll pass. Actually, to be honest, I could actually go for a couple brownies right now. You know what I wish was a more common thing when I was growing up? Those, like, what's her name? The, like, Lil Betty or whatever? The, the company that makes those cosmic movies and the uh, cream really cakes or whatever. I wish I had more of those when I was younger. I mean, of course, as an adult now, I can actually go buy them anytime I really want. But, eh. Brownie, brownies, brains. Collecting brownies, yes. Alright. Okay. We got 199. Okay, so, like, you know how that ghost always turns out to be some old guy with a mask on? I don't think these zombies are wearing masks! So, I've been doing what you and I do best, Skaggy. Hiding. Zoinks! I think I hear something. Like, I better sign off. Don't worry about me, old pal. You never think to look in a barrel, right? 